Hi everyone, I just wanted to talk a little bit today about my approach to bonding rabbits. Um, my approach is overall a very slow approach, as you would know if you have uh, been watching the journey of Billy and Coco, um, and I plan to bond them. Um, there's a few reasons for this. The first reason is that I like to give the rabbit, the new rabbit that I have gotten to bond with my existing rabbit, a lot of time to settle in. Um, I like to get to know them and assess where their confidence and um, comfort level is in the new place that I've brought them to. Um, a good example of this is that I had planned to start bonding with Beale and um, Lucy at the time, who I had, uh, a lot quicker than I did. But I realised once he had been here for a little while that his stress levels were very high and trying to bond him in that state would have just been um, unadvisable because his stress levels with the bonding would have got even higher and there was a high chance that he would have been aggressive and not receptive very well to a new rabbit. So I like to assess how the new rabbit is going and let them settle in and get their confidence with just being here in their new home before I actually start trying to add another stress into that and bonding them with the other rabbit. So I do give a lot of time to the pre-bonding stage. As you can see here I have the rabbits right next to each other, the two rabbits that I'm planning to bond. Uh, and I like to make sure that they can see each other and smell each other. Uh, and I give them a lot of time just to get used to that, just to get used to having each other in the proximity, um, to be able to get used to the different smells and know the rabbit a little bit before they've even met each other face to face. I especially wanted to do this with Coco and Billy because being older, especially Coco being old, quite a bit older, um, I didn't want to add any extra stress that I needed to for her with the bonding. I wanted it to be a slow and um, relaxed process. I didn't want to put them face to face straight away and there could be um, the possibility of scuffles and that sort of thing because she's just a bit too old for that. She doesn't need that. Um, and one of the main, you know, the main reason I'm trying to bond them is that I want them to be happy together and I want them to be comfortable and love each other. And that's you know that's not going to happen very easily if they start off on the wrong foot um, so you know it is very important to me that they do bond well and that they do actually really like each other you know there is a possibility of bonding rabbits together and they don't actually they bond and they accept each other but they don't actually really enjoy each other's company and feel comfortable with each other uh, when I picked Billy up um, from the RSPCA, the lady, you know, I explained to the lady that I was planning on bonding him, and even if they didn't bond well, he'd always have a, a home here anyway, so there was no need to have rushed introductions to see if they would be a match or anything like that. Um, and she was pleased to hear that because she said a lot of um, bonded, so to say, rabbits that are bought in and surrendered, um, they're not really properly bonded at all because when they go to examine the rabbits after the owners have surrendered them, um, they'll have bite marks all underneath their belly and the signs of aggression between them still, which I don't want. So I want to make, I mean, I'm doing this for them so that they will be happy and I want to make sure that they are, that they are really happy um, and paired well together. So I'm hoping that Billy and Coco will bond and have a happy relationship together. But if they don't, if it doesn't work out, then, you know, I've just seen such a, a huge improvement in Coco's happiness just by having Billy next to her. So if that's as far as it goes for them, then, you know, I'll accept that and I'll say, well, that's that's what it's going to be. That's what their relationship is going to be. I let them determine that. I try hard and I try for a long period of time with the bonding because it can take quite a long time for rabbits to actually accept each other. Um, so I do a lot of the pre-bonding, as I mentioned. And then I also give them a lot of time on and off just having small dates in a neutral environment. Um, I use the bathroom because it doesn't smell like any rabbit, so they're not going to be threatened by that. Um, and then I just do, especially with these two, I'll just do little um, non-stressed interactions, which I monitor closely, pop them back in their own pens, and I'll just do that over a long period of time. But if it just doesn't look like it's going to work, then I'll accept that and I will just let them be neighbours. So that's the first part of my approach to the bonding process. Um, in the next video, I will hopefully have some footage of my first bonding with Coco and Billy to show you, and I'll explain where I do the first face-to-face -face bonding um, and how I go about just monitoring and um, doing that. And yeah, and I'll explain a little bit more about the whole bonding process and uh, where it goes 
um, from the pre-bonding stage. So thank you so much for watching and I hope um, you enjoyed the video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.